Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Wednesday. It is January the 11th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful and encouraging Word of God. As we do, picking up here in 2 Peter chapter 2, uh, not forgetting that the Lord says, listen, that these examples uh, were for us to understand that are living today of how not to follow the ungodly, to live lives that are wholesome and holy before the Lord. Uh, lives that seek to live out in the righteousness of God. And so he ended yesterday's conversation just reminding ourselves, he says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those after that should live ungodly. So he says, this is what's going to happen to the ungodly. They are going to be absolutely annihilated, destroyed. And I realize that we may be living in some very difficult days and there seems like the, the evil is is running rampant and it seems like it's winning. But I can promise you, it, wickedness and evilness and unrighteousness is not winning. Uh, it is being uh, allowed, but it's not winning. And it's being allowed because man doesn't want God. And uh, and he's running after the the, uh, the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. And, and he's, he's running after... Uh, the sin, which brings destruction upon us, uh, he runs out of out, out to covetousness and materialism and and um, and pride. He's running after all the wrong things. But the word of God comes along today and says, "Listen, I know all that's going on, and I know that the unrighteousness all around you. And listen, their day of judgment is coming. But praise God that you're not a part of that judgment, right?" And this is a glorious picture here that we find this morning here in Second Peter chapter 2 uh, because um, we don't see it here, but in, in Abraham and Lot's day, uh, God came to Abraham and told him, I'm going to destroy this wicked city. Uh, the, the cries of it has come up to me and, and, and I'm, 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 it, it's iniquity has been filled up and I'm fixing to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham knew that Lot was there. And Abraham went and begged God and said, God, uh, would you would you destroy the righteous with the wicked? I got my my, my nephew down there and, and he's he's he he believes in you. He trusts in you. Even though he's in that in the midst of that wicked and perverse generation, he is a man who's trusting you. And God knew he did. And I don't I don't uh, understand that, but nevertheless the, the Bible is very clear here today. But uh, that, that Lot was considered to be a righteous man. And uh, and so uh, there's hope for us is, is what I'm trying to say. Don't, don't give up no matter what your struggle is, no matter what you're going through. Uh, don't give up. Uh, seek the Lord and, and to, and to uh, live in him uh, no matter what's going on around you, no matter what society is doing, no matter how wicked and vile it may be. Don't give up. Keep on keeping on living the truth uh, and living in the Lord, because listen to what he says. He says he's going to destroy those um, that uh, live ungodly, but he says, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked. And so he said his soul was just torn up as he as he's as he's uh, living in the middle of this perverse and wicked generation. And if your soul is vexed today with all the wickedness going on around you, then you ought to give God some praise today, because that's an obvious sign that the Spirit of God lives within you, because only would your soul be fixed if you have been made alive in Christ about the sin sick situation uh, that surrounds us. And that's the, that's the only evidence that we have. Uh, that the evidence of the fruit that um, comes out of us, uh, uh, the fruit of the Spirit, and then and then the evidence that we are we are torn up about the wickedness and the sin that is around us. And he said he was he was vexed with the filthy conversations of the righteous. And then it says, for that righteous man dwelling amongst them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And so even though he was living in the middle of Sodom, even though he was, I guess you could say, enjoying the um, amenities of the lifestyle of Sodom, he still trusted in the Lord. He still put his faith in him and he did not live uh, in, uh, in their uh, wickedness and vileness of, of their sin. And uh, he vexes his, his righteous soul, the Bible says, from day to day with their unlawful deeds. But then I love verse 9. 
where he says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. And so the Lord's about to come and deliver us. And you can find this example in all of Scripture this taking place. The Lord will not destroy the righteous with the wicked. Sometimes the wicked have to live in, uh, I mean, the righteous have to live inside of wicked days. But God will not destroy the righteous with the wicked. He always delivers them. Um, they, there may be difficult times, but there's not destruction. And there's a difference. And here, the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations. And so God has a way of helping us to fight those temptations. And how is that going to take place? But by the power of the Spirit and the Word of God. When we know the Word of God, when we have the Spirit of God living within us, then we can live even in the middle of a wicked and perverse generation and, and, our, and our righteous souls being vexed, but, but being delivered by the power of our amazing God. And so I pray today that as you go out today, that you'll live in the power and the truth of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit and, and the salvation of Jesus Christ, His sanctification has washed you and cleansed you and given you eternal life and trust fully in Him no matter what, uh, no matter what is going on in this world. You trust in Christ, and I promise you, he will deliver you. He will deliver you. So go forth today mildly in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.